the uh, activities that, that you see now are activities that occurred earlier in the uh, cruise day after they departed their hotel or as they prepared to depart their hotel at uh, 10 o'clock this morning central 11 eastern time one of the traditions is to sign the door um, of their at their uh, cosmonauts hotel Дорогие ребята, от всей души хочу пожелать вам Божьего благословения, чтобы Пристая Богородица сохранила вас, покрывала своим покровом, и чтобы Ангел Христос помогал вам во всех ваших делах. Храни вас, Господь. С Богом помоги, Господи. Help you, God. After the uh, traditional blessing, the uh, prime crew that you see there in uh, front, Oleg Kononenko in the center, Chell Lindgren to uh, the left in this view, and Kamiya Yui. Behind them, the uh, backup crew of uh, Yuri Malenchenko. Russian cosmonaut Tim Copra and uh, Great Britain uh, crew member or astronaut Tim Peake. from their hotel over to uh, building 254 where they begin their suit up activities is uh, just about uh, 15 or 20 minutes or so and once they arrive there they uh, began suiting up about 11:30 this morning 12:30 this afternoon uh, US Eastern time that suit up uh, occurs about four and a half hours before launch also about the time that the crew arrived at the uh, suit up building that was the point uh, about five hours before launch where the actual tanking or fueling of the Soyuz rocket began About the time that the uh, crew members completed suit up, uh, reports came that the booster was completely loaded with uh, liquid oxygen. And about three and a half hours before launch, the uh, crew members moved into a uh, room through which uh, their family and friends could watch the final stages of their suit checkout.
obviously go through a complete uh, check out of their suit to make sure that uh, every uh, system on the suit is working properly. This is the pressure suit that the uh, crew members wear for launch and landing. So these uh, suits are obviously fit check uh, for each individual crew member, as are the seats, the form-fitting seats that they uh, use inside their Soyuz spacecraft itself. Flash of light from the brain. It's really bright. And then it's going to be a little bit of 
Good evening. We wish you excellent flight and we'll keep our fingers crossed for you. We are always uh, support you and we will be able to come uh, and help you in case anything goes wrong. But we wish you all the best. And take good care of Space Station Force. On behalf of the Jackson, I'd like to say I wish you a good start, uh, nice, pleasant docking, and all the best and many successes during your uh, space endeavor and we'll be uh, looking for you from the ground. We wish you a good flight. We'll work with you together hand in hand and every minute of the flight you will feel our support. And the crew walk out after greeting family, friends and some uh, senior officials. The uh, crew walked out to report for the final time to the uh, State Commission, that uh, occurring at 2 o'clock this afternoon uh, Eastern Time, 1 o'clock Central Time. The, among those that greeted them just moments ago behind the glass were Igor Komarov, the head of Roscosmos, Bill Gerstenmeyer, NASA's Associate Administrator for Human Exploration Operations, and Takashi Hamazaki, the Vice President of the Jap Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. Good luck. Good luck, folks. And the crew departed for uh, the launch pad at Site 1 about three hours uh, before launch at uh, just about midnight Baikonur time. about a 20-minute ride from uh, the uh, checkout building at 254, building 254, um, the arrival at the launch pad um, about uh, 12.30 in the morning, Baikonur time, 2.30 this afternoon, Eastern time. Fueling of the Soyuz rocket was uh, completed uh, about an hour and a half prior to the uh, crew's arrival at the launch pad. So you see quite a bit of vapor that's coming off the rocket uh, as the uh, rocket is continually uh, fueled to maintain a, the, a full tank or so before the crew's actual launch. The crew uh, climbs the initial steps on the ladder before boarding an elevator to uh, head up to the top of the rocket. This is the point where they say their final farewells to uh, those people that helped uh, prepare them for their mission and uh, folks that they won't see for uh, about five months before they uh, return home in late December.